It's the last uh, unexplored frontier on Earth. Um, we know very little about this, this region, what we call the Hadal Zone, which is that area of the ocean below 6,000 meters or 20,000 feet. You can't just get there in a normal submarine. What sort of vehicle does it take to withstand the pressures there? That's a very interesting question because pressure is uh, entirely relative. When a spacecraft goes up into space, uh, they're only experiencing a, a pressure change of one atmosphere between the inside of the uh, spacecraft and the outside. We are dealing with a pressure differ differential of around 1100 atmospheres. So we dive in a titanium sphere which is able to withstand 100,000 tons of pressure. It takes around four and a half hours to get to the deepest point of the world's ocean. We go down through the water at about six feet per second. And coming back? Uh, we release ballast weight on the bottom to, uh, to spring us off the bottom and head for the surface. And so it's about a three and a half hour ride home. What are you seeing when you get to the ocean floor in the deepest part of it? This is the most fantastic part of uh, what we're doing. It's true exploration. You know, we never know what we're going to see. Uh, every dive has yielded something fascinating, often something new to science. Uh, we are seeing uh, creatures for the first time. We are discovering entire landscapes which were previously unknown. That's still a full day just in travel time. So how much time does that give you on the ocean's floor? We try to uh, stay down for three to five hours on the bottom. You know, it's a big investment of time and energy. It takes the entire team to get this vehicle prepared and get it down. And so we try to use every minute possible on the bottom. Our submersible has three viewports, one for each of the occupants, but also one central one that allows us to see down to the seafloor. But we're also surrounded by uh, very high definition cameras that are all linked to a screen in front of us. And we can look in any direction uh, outside. And that's important because we don't really know where we're going. We're almost always the very first humans that have ever been there. And so although we have a three-dimensional map that we've made uh, the day before, we need a very good um, view outside to see what's coming. You know, for humans, we don't really fear what we can't uh, sense. And so when you're in an airliner and you're looking out, you don't naturally think of the wind going past at 500 miles an hour and it's minus 50 out there and there's not enough air to breathe. You just, if I can see a town or I can see a truck. And the same in the sun. There's no sensation of movement. There's no sensation of sound. Um, you can't hear or feel anything from outside. It's just a very peaceful, relaxing cruise uh, into the unknown. I think that we know so little about uh, the ocean that we barely understand what questions to ask, let alone um, have the ability to, to understand the answers. My role and the role of, of the team that I work with is to simply open the door. This is the first vehicle in all of human history that has the ability to reach the deep ocean uh, in any ocean at any depth at any time. It's, the, it's, it's a, akin to the Wright brothers with the first flying machine. This is just the first baby steps. <laughs>